Ooh, what's up guys, John Origins here today, got a Pokemon Shadow Live in the RU tier and we're going to be using a team that I've actually done an RMT for just because I've done extremely well with this team in terms of ladder ranking so I figured now's a good time now that I've kind of finished laddering properly time to give you a live with this team, it's a hyper offensive squad, Yone, as you can see and I'm not going to go in depth in the team because it is an RMT uh, so it, I will leave a link to the RMT in the description below, as long as, as long as uh, <laughs> words are hard, uh, along with a uh, pace bin for the team if you don't want to click on the RMT. So uh, just a little overview, of course. We got spikes, toxic spikes, steed, quillfish, physically defensive Rhyperia, scarf, Delphox, SD Shiftry, Life Orb, Rapid Spin, Hitmonlee, and then SD Dubler just to round out the team. Just gonna search for a game now. It might take a while. Um, so I decided to do this now because. Uh, I'm downloading uh, GTA 5 right now on my PC. It's going to take a while, so I figured why not uh, waste my life playing some Pokemon. Pokemon <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I will pause until the game has been gotten, so I will be up here. Okay, it took seven years, but we finally got one. <laughs> well, literally, I, I, I just I started watching a video. I'm four minutes into a video. Taking your time. <laughs> Holy crap. But looking at this, I, I kind of like this team. That I'm facing because Quillfish can set up a couple of hazards and Toxic Spikes are going to be extremely beneficial, um, especially against that Tangrowth. So I'm just going to lead off with that Standard Dot Lead um, and Toxic Spikes all the way forward, of course. He does not have a spinner, so you know, Toxic oh, toxic Spikes, they're just an amazing move, like, or amazing utility to run in RU, especially, especially with a bunch of bulky Pokemon like Tangrowth, uh, Sloking. Alamomola just running around thinking they're all that and uh, Toxic Spice just coming to the field wear them down to her turn and it's fantastic I mean there are a couple of things that can eat up the spikes the Drapion, Amoongus, etc Skunk Tank, but Honestly as long as you prioritize correctly you should be great as Do I keep cool fish alive because you know, it could be handy you can get up spikes against Tangrove, Chloritza, Excalibur, Escavalier uh, but on the plus on the on the other side on the flip of the coin, Jolteon, it's kind of a frown. I don't re physically have a switch. I mean, I expect him to go for the hidden power grass here to finish me off. So I could switch out into my Delphox and hit him up with a Psy Shark or something. But I think I'd rather just let my Quillfish die here. So I'm gonna go for a Spike just in case for whatever reason he goes for like the Baton Pass or something weird. Yeah, as he actually just just go for the hidden power. Um, I'm fine with this. Um, what I could actually do, I could bring in Shiftry. Um, but I'm not sure if he has the signal beam or not. I, I heavily doubt it though. And I do have the potential sucker punch. He does have a, but he does have Cabalgum as well. So I could just, I'm just going to bring in my Dalfox. Because nothing really switched into Dalfox. That's out of Chloritza. And if that gets Toxic Spikes, that's to Toxic Spiked. That's pretty good. And then I have Shiftry. So I'm just going to click Fire Blast here. It might not knock out Jolchan. Because Jolchan, no, oh, I'll miss anyway. And get up here. Get hit with loads of damage, but I'm in blaze range now, so I'll definitely be killing Jolchan here if I hit. Especially after that life or damage. So yeah, as long as I hit, things should go well. And he has no switch-ins anymore because I am, like I said, I am in blaze range. Oh, he's a salt vest. Okay, That's good knowledge. Just gonna go out into my shift tree. It's my only switch-in to a uh, Chloritza, so I'm just gonna play it obvious. And go right into it. I would like to keep this Dark Fox alive because it can Oko, Excavalier, Cabalion, and Tangrowth. The only problem, of course, will be um, the trio. As he predicted me. That's fine. Because I can bring in Hitmonlee and just go for the high jump kick. Hopefully, hit. If, you know, if I continue to miss moves like this, I will lose, but that's whatever. Um, Fire Blast would have done a lot to that Joel Chan, it's really quite disappointing that it, that it didn't work out in my favour, but I am able to knock out that Chlorid, so that's good. Let's see what he brings in now. Doesn't really have anything outside of uh, Cabalion, and I have a Duplay, which is a counter, so that's fine, and I have Rhyperia, which is a really good switch in. I mean, if I get, if I get rid of Tangrowth or weaken it, um, I should be able to win with Dewblade, so I'm just going to go for the high jump kick here. Do a lot. 
to this Tangro. A good chunk. Uh, so he actually misses the Lucy, which works out perfectly. Uh, revenge! <laughs> and I'm just going to click Hydro Kick once again. I mean, he'll probably just sack Jolteon. Um, but, oh, wow, he sacks the Tangrove. Amazing. That works out really well in my favor. I suppose he's going to bring in the Dugtrio now. That's what, uh, that's what I'm going to guess anyway. <laughs> he does. Um, so I can hit this thing up with a Mark Punch. And it should do a lot of damage. I think it does about 80% to do Trio. And that'll put it in range of two toxic for toxic damages. And if he's life up, he'll die. So. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He might, he might actually go for a Stealth Frog here, which would be a terrible misplay on his part. Okay, he just goes straight for the Earthquake. And, um. Hmm. Could bring him Rhyperia here. Or I could just Shadow Snake with the Dew Blade. Yeah, because Dial Fox cleans up after Doug Trio dies, so I'm just going to bring my Dew Blade here. And I'm just going to play it extremely safe with the Shadow Sneak. Hopefully, he allows Doug Trio to die. If he does, I'll put my Dial Fox in an amazing position. I mean, he does have Cabalion, but. I can set up on Cabalion quite easily with my new blade, and also Excavalier if he wants to bring that in. Because I should outspeed most, not if, if not all variants of Excavalier with my speed investment. Hmm. As long as I don't miss Fire Blasts, I'm good. I mean, I, I, I could sweep the two blade quite easily. But uh, yeah, he just sacks the trio, which is fantastic for me. As that just means he has no switch into the Fire Blast. I want to get a damage calc up. Because I'm not really familiar with Life Orb Jolteon. Um, I don't see it in much. Um, I don't know how much it does to do Blade. It does a lot to do Blade, <laughs> I admit. <laughs> but I can actually live anyone here. Okay, so I'm just going to Sword Stance here. So I can get the most the most damage out of this dew blade as he actually just crits me <sighs> it's fine um let's see just gonna bring my Del fox god that sucked i would have liked a bit of damage on this discoverer just because then i could go into like viperia Luckily, I am able to connect with the Fire Blast, so there's one down. Hmm. As long as I don't miss, I win, but if I miss at any point, then I'll lose the game. This Jolene should be dead by now, by the way. Hey, I hit, and he's dead. Sweet! And Cabalion can't be Rhyperia 1v1, so usually. So that should be game with Delphos coming in the rear, picking up a lot of kills this game in fact free yeah free kills and sweet good game my friend so we're gonna six <laughs> almighty six points from that victory but whatever and um, we'll get another game i we'll, might only get one more because yeah i've played a lot of this team so i'm almost wet out worn out of it um so let's just look for a game hopefully it won't take seven and a half hours to get a game but it looks like it will do so i will uh, be back with the second game Okay, guys, we're against uh, the Magik Tosta. Only took a couple of minutes this time. Uh, but, very threatening squad he's got there. Uh, Golbat's going to be frustrating as hell to deal with. Uh, because I, I don't really have much for it. I can set up on it with, like, Dewblade and I can knock it off with Shiftry or him on me. But um, it can remove hazards, which I'm never really a fan of. As he leads Jolteon. I'm just going to go for the top six bikes. As Gashadon could be annoying. And wearing down Simsino is always nice. And Dal Fox. Um, Shiftry can do a lot of work here, actually. Once Hitmon Lee gets weakened. So, he's got a Vault Switch out. If he's, is he Life Orb? Yeah. Oh god, he's Life Orb, so I don't have to worry about Choice Specs Jolting on the guard. Uh, but that does mean my Rhyperia isn't really a switch in. Uh, which is kind of annoying. But let's see what he does here. He actually brings in the Golbat, which I'm fine with because I can taunt this. And this guarantees that at least one Pokemon gets toxic spiked. Or hit with a poison, I should say. Um, so that's nice. 
Uh, bringing this strain is a bit weird, but whatever. <laughs> I really hope the gash done at least gets toxic. Um, yeah, I think um, I would benefit from that quite a lot. As uh, he just goes for the super fan, gets the mark out on me. He is taunted, so that's always handy. I'm just gonna. I feel like I should just switch out into Delphox here. Um, I don't think I need my Choice Scarf. Because Sincina is a bit trash. So, because I have like Dewblade, I have Hitmonlee's Map Punch, I have Shift with Sucker Punch, and I have Bulky Rhyperia. So, I'm just gonna switch to No reason not to. Just see what he brings in. He can't. If he wants to stay in Super Fang, I've tricked his Golbat, which is just fantastic. Uh, and I can drop an Eevee Light on someone else. Uh, so he actually just stay in here to, uh, I suppose, go for that Super Fang. Yeah. So what I can do here is just click Sly Shark. It's great. Fantastic. I've limited the Golbat. So I get three setup opportunities against it if he decides to go for Defog later on in life. And I've obviously I've sold it to stance on a couple of months. That's great. It also means that uh, Hitmonlee's going to be chomping on it a bit harder. I have to be careful with knockoff spam because I've got rid of it to Evil Light. I don't want to remove its choice scarf recklessly. It actually just brings in the Jolteon, which is fine. It can almost die. It can actually, yeah, it's very close to death, so that's nice. If I'm real. <laughs> I'm actually going to go into my shiftry here. Um, be purely because I can. I actually went for the Thunder, but I did not anticipate that because he would have died to Toxic and then um, Rhyperia would have just been like, yo, how's it going, friend? But that's fine, that's whatever. As to be honest, outside of Hitmonlee, he hasn't really got a switch in this, and I have, like, I have Dewblade. It actually brings in the Golbat. I have to play it safe and go into Rhyperia. I mean, Rhyperia is actually a decent play because he has nothing to touch it. And, um,. Yeah, he just, just goes straight for the defog. I could have sword stance then. I was tempted to, but I didn't want to risk the brave better. So I can just... I can just double back in the shift tree, anticipating the gold, the gash are done to come in. <sighs> yeah. And then, um... Let me have a look. Alright. I am adamant shift tree. Oh shit. <laughs> shift tree. I'm sword stance adamant. Like, I'm pretty powerful against the Golbat. Let's just assume he's physically defensive. I'm at plus two attack. And he's lost his Eviolite. I can't kill him. I probably should have got my rocks in, but. Um. But that's just assuming he's max defense. Like, he might not be. Uh, Shifty does a lot of work to his team, though. I don't want to ruin that. I'm just going to sort of stance. Fuck it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to make a play eventually. As, yeah, he does bring in that gold bat. And, um... I'm just going to go for the sucker punch. If he's especially defensive, I might be able to just knock him out. With the sucker punch. And if he goes for any other attack, knock off. Is always nice. As unfortunately, he is physically defensive. But he has Super Fang, so... That's nice. So I can just suck a punch again. Yeah, so he loses his gold belt, which is fantastic. And I actually have a couple of hits left in my shift tree, so I have no reason to sack this. So if he brings in his Hitmonlee, he's forced to go for the map punch. And that's a free switch into my... Uh, Dewblade, or even my Delphox. No, probably not Delphox. Uh, so yeah, I can definitely save this. I'm going to go out into my... Um, my two play. Sweet. And, uh. Gash of Dawn's annoying, but let's just see how much damage I can do to it. With the Shadow Claw. And he might even stay in. Weakening his him only, which would be fantastic for me. He's Endor. <laughs> it's fun. Like, why would you do that when I have, like, priority? Unless he's Sucker Punch, but even then, that'll do, like, 40% max. Like, not even that. I, I lost I lost the Sucker Punch Hitman Lee once. It was not a fun experience. But it, it happened. It happened, I doubt you. Uh, that was a, it was a tough, tough break for me. It really was. But looking in a pretty commanding position, I will say. As he actually brings out his Gash, which is fine. 
Um, don't really have a switch into this. I mean, I could just go hit my lane and just click high jump kick, but oh, like this shadow sneak is going to be so helpful for that Dalfox, and so is the sucker punch. I mean, if as long as I get a free switch in the shift here, I don't really mind. I get to I get to kill a Pokemon. I'm going. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that put me out of a difficult situation. As we had seven points for that one. <laughs> nice, seven points. So I think we'll get one more. Yeah, screw it. We'll get one more. So I'll be alright with the third game and the final game, hopefully. If I, unless I lose, of course. But there'll be Abby. Okay, guys, we've got one here against the German Bull. And uh, he has a Zatu, which is annoying. It really is. Because spikes do a really good amount of damage to his team. But whatever. Whatever. Unfortunately, that means I'm not extremely looking forward to leaving off with Quillfish. So. I'm actually going to do it off with my shift tree because if I'm going Quillfish, he'll either go Gashadon, Zatu. So I think shift tree is a good matchup against both of them. So um, let's do that. Sounds like a plan to me. Definitely a plan. Uh, you want to want to want to a Grand Theft Auto update? I do. Bam! An hour and four to go. Not bad. Sixty gigabyte download. Bloody hell! That's a lot of download to download. But whatever. That was not what I anticipated. Hmm. Is it worth it? Kind of is. Because once this is weakened, I can win with Dublade and Weezing is gone. And I have Dalfox, so... I'm just going to suck a punch. I'm going to do it. Oh! He's dead! <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> gosh. Good golly gosh. I mean, the fact that they say Garsh is nice, but then he follows it up with fuck that. Garsh is usually a replacement for, like, that kind of thing, I would think. Like, oh, gosh in heaven. Instead of fucking hell, or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Enough of my uh, disapproval of his choice of words. Or phrasing. I mean, he can bring in... I was not expecting Weezing. Because this is one... This is the other things I need to weaken. So I'm going to weaken it. Like... Why wouldn't I? <laughs> As he misses with a whisk. It's not hacks. I predicted it. <laughs> He's having such a shit game. Oh, I feel... I don't feel bad for him, but... You somewhat have to. He missed again. <laughs> Even though it wouldn't have mattered, he still missed. So I'm going to trick a roo, switch a roo, just in case Zartu comes in. Crippling that is always great. I mean, he'll definitely want to keep this Weezing alive because it checks him on the Shift Tree and Blade. So, yeah, he's actually. Yeah, he does switch out into his R2. So, he gets the Choice Gaff. I get the Choice Specs. Hello, Fire Blast! <laughs> let's go, Fire Blast, let's go. Oh. Wow, hacks. <laughs> I'm just going to switch out to Rhyperia. So, it seems a decent enough play. Oh, I got predicted. Um, I actually have nothing for this Gastrodon. I mean, I have Shift Tree. So, that's not really true. I mean, he might double into a Zatu. Nope, he scolds. He doesn't burn me. Nice. Um, I mean, I have no reason to stay in here. So I can just switch out into my Dow Fox and I'm going to click Fire Blast. As I'm Choice Specs now, so I'm definitely okoing this Weezing. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Ash. I did not think Ashadon will come in then. Burn? <laughs> I'm asking for too much. Uh, hmm. I mean, I could bring in him on lane. I think it's quite bulky. This thing's such a problem. I've no like resist outside of shift and I don't want to continue to bring that in. Because it's gonna get weakened. I'm gonna bring in Hitmonly. Hitmonly has a decent special defense down. I'm anticipating Earth Pass is best play. Infestation, okay. Uh, that's fine. Um I'm just gonna high jump kick. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of Gashadon as well. Nice. <laughs> Full do blade to sweep, so that's 
two out of his three threats down. Um, I mean, he can bring in Zatu here because he has Choice Scarf, so he will outspeed my Hitmonlee. Even though I am Jolly Nature. Hmm. He actually brings in his own Hitmonlee. So I'm assuming it's Fake Heart. I'm going to switch out to my Rhyperia here. Oh, he's not. He's Endor. That's fine. Um, let's go into my Dewblade then. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So I can beat this one on one with my Dewblade. As I can go for the Shadow Claw plus Shadow Sneak combination. I mean, Weezing is his, easily his best at play. Yeah, as he does go into that. I actually do a sizable amount of damage. I'm wearing it now. That's good. Um, he has no Fire Blast switch in, so I don't want to carelessly switch into an attack that I don't want to. So I'm going to go into my Corphish here. Oh uh, yeah, I, don't, I, want, I want to play my uh, Dalfox a bit safer. Safer. <laughs> safer. Um, and I need to play my Dewblade safe because of that Durant. But as long as I have priority, I should be okay against Durant. I mean, if I conserved the Sash and my Quillfish, I would be alright as well. But never can be too sorry. And I have a ripe area. <laughs> I'm covering Durant. Okay, I actually did that. That's very interesting. Um, I'm going to Scald. Because I want to get some damage on Zatu, or at least start to. Um, so that's sweet. Um, I'm just going to sack the Quillfish. I get to see what Zatu goes for. Heatwave, nice. He predicted my Dewblade. So I get another Scald off, and I get another Scald off. <laughs> ah, sweet. I get a uh, good place for days. If Zatu goes, that would be fantastic as well. Because then his Scarf is gone. Then I outspeed most of his team. He, he went into Durant? Burn? No. <laughs> I'm just going to scold again. No reason not to. As long as I'm weakening this, I don't mind. Like, can he knock me out? I resist his dual staff. Oh, yeah, Stone Edge. Okay. Is he life orb? Nope. Um, go Rhyperia. Hmm. <laughs> and he actually hit the Stone Edge. Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, you yeah. so think that would be the move you actually hit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring my my uh, Dal Fox now. As yeah, Pain Spirit does nothing, and I can just Fire Blast. That's so funny that he actually hit the Stone Edge and missed every other move though to my kind. Uh, that's great. That's really funny. So as uh, R two goes down, that's sweet. Don't necessarily need this uh, Dalfox anymore. As he brings in his Durant. Um, I want to. I'm pretty sure he's Choice Scarf at this point. I want to see what he locks himself into. Um, but at the same time, I don't need to lose my Dalfox because it outspeeds the remainder of his team and just Oko's with Sly Shark. So I'm gonna go into my uh, Rhyperia because that makes the most sense. As he actually predicts that to, to, to some degree. And uh, I'm going to set my Stealth Rocks because it just helps me with Weezing and taking it down with Dewblade. Because um, that will bring it down to 37%, and then if I get up a Sword Stats, it should be okay. Okay, he actually brings in his Weezing now. Um, again, I think I'm going to make the play out into my Dal Fox. Um, definitely think it's worth it. As he actually makes a good double into his door, and that's fine with me. I mean, he has to make plays to come back at this point. I mean, one Pokemon I don't need is Shift Tree. But I have no reason to sack. Well, I kind of do. Yeah, I'm going to sack Shift Tree. Because it has no use to me. As he actually goes for the Stone Edge, which... Um, gives me a free switch into my Hitmonlee. I actually hit a second stone edge as well. <laughs> oh, I just love pointing that out. I'm just going to click high jump kick at this point. I just want to live while I am alive. Ugh. I hope uh, I hope I get, don't get hit by the hustle curse. Because that would be annoying. <laughs> uh, oh, guys, you noticed? I'm under a, 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 a halt named Hazaha. An alt named Hakazi. It's, this was just a testing alt, so. 
Okay, as long as I uh, hit this, I should be cool, but I miss it, unfortunately. Well, I'm just going to go for it again. Because I kind of just need it to be low. Yeah. Cool. And uh, that, at this point, I can just bring in my Delphox and just click Psy Shark. And I, then I can set up with my Dewblade. Um, I mean, he has port brought it back in Pokemon numbers, but I have been playing a bit recklessly because I have identified my win condition in the form of Psy Shark, and I took out the threats I need to in the form of Typhlosion, Gastrodon, and Weezing. So now I'm set for victory. So uh, this is somewhat of a calculated victory on my part. Um, I mean, I got a little bit lucky with the Sucker Punch, but it's, it's all in the name of the game. So he's going to just... I assume he's going to Endure here to get his Unburden, but then I just have to do it, so it's like whatever. Bring him down to his uh, lychee berry. I don't know why I'm seeing so many lychee berries, but it's fine. And I don't think he has a move that can take out both my Rhyperia and my Dubleg with a Doran. And I assume it's Choice Scarf. I mean, this guy's had all the weirdest luck. I mean, missing missing a couple of Wood Wisps, getting critted, but then hitting two Stone Edges with a Hustle Dorand? Like, hello? <laughs> Uh, that's funny, but I'm just going to sneak. I could have Sucker Punch like I've said before, but I highly doubt. It has Bullet Punch. I should have Sword Stance then. That would have easily been my better play, but Doran can't OK me in any sense of the word, so... That's fine, especially with Stealth Rock Sentry, yeah. Um, a, Just a Shadow Claw will do it. Yeah, as he goes for the Exorcist. <laughs> GG. Um, so that's, that's victory. Eight points. We had six, seven, and eight points. Amazing. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> ah, so, are we fourth yet? I mean, I, I used to be fourth, but then I went to sleep and I woke up sixth. So, uh, fifth. Yeah. So I went to sleep, woke up sixth, and now I'm fifth. So, I'm not doing too bad on the ladder, honestly. I was, I was the way Shaf is. I, I peaked at fifteen fifty-two. Then I lost again, went down to 15.28, and I started at 15.27 this morning. Well, today, just so I got 6, 7, and 8, got myself up to 15.48. I mean, I'm not actually that far off number 1 because the ladder significantly dropped. Tay, where has he gone? Tay, here, him. He was over the 1600 mark, but he lost. He must have lost to this guy. I, I faced this guy yesterday, and he was using a stool team, and I was like, oh my god, I can't win. And I ended up losing to him. And that's what brought me down, actually, to 15.28. Um... I haven't seen Shaft battle in a while. And Slimit Atemi, I think he's always been there at 1566. Or he might have lost one game. I can't remember from yesterday. But anyway, <laughs> enough rambling, huh? Um, if you guys enjoyed this live, leave, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe. I've been John Origins, and I'm out. So, bass.